Hey everybody, it's Heather with Diamonds and Dragonflies. I hope all of my peeps are doing well tonight. Um, I have decided to take a break from Drills and Chills. Um, I completed five full-size diamond paintings um, for the event over the past two months and I'm slightly burnt out on doing Halloween stuff. And I do have two events that I'm going to be doing starting next month. I'm going to be participating in the Randall Spangler event, Seasons of Spangler. Um, then I will be doing Jingle Drills with Lindsay from Emeralds and Fairy Lights. And then I'm going to be participating in um, Be the Hero DP along um, through Bella Art Day Nicole. Um, that one is December to January. So Randall Spangler's month of November, then November 18th to Christmas Day is Jingle Drills, and then December 1st through January 31st is the Be the Hero DP along. So I decided that since I have a few days until I start um, the Randall Spangler event, that I was going to work on some of my Christmas kits. And I decided to share this with you because I have never done one of these before. This is from Michaels. It is a Make Market, um, is their brand. Um, it says $14.99 was the regular price. I got these, I wanna say 30% off. Um, so I, I wanna say, let me see, 30% off would be like $4.50 off. So around a little more than ten dollars and something um this kit came with two in it it has this snowman and the gnome in it um i've never done one of these before i've heard good things so i thought i'd give it a shot so i wanted to share with you my experience so this kit includes two eight inch by 10 inch or 20.3 centimeters by 25.4 centimeter kits um, on the box, there is the contents. It came with two pre-printed canvases, um, a bag, 35 pre-sorted diamond art colors, a stylus, a craft tray, a wax caddy, and an instructions sheet. On the back, it also has like a, a little brief um, directions. And then this is the one kit. This is the one I'm gonna do to start with and canvas. And then this is the other canvas, which I'm gonna hopefully do after this one. Now, these, this kit, the bags with the gems in it did not come with DMC numbers. They were listed 1 through 35, that's on the legend here, and then this number matches down here on the canvas. Um, so, how I decided to kit them up is that I had bought a while ago these labels. I got them from Office Depot, or actually Staples, I apologize. And they're Avery multi-use labels. They come on sheets like this and little squares. And I went through and I did one for all of the symbols that are on the legend. And then I, I put them on my trays. So I kitted up. Most of them are in my small Bella, Day Art, Bella Art Day Nicole trays. Um, the majority of them are in these. I have actually... One, two, three, 24, 25, 26, 27 are in those because they only had a little um, few gems. Then seven of them are in the large Bell Art Dana Cole trays. These are the 3.1s. These are the easy grid trays. They have the slots for um, multi placing, single placing, and multi placing. And then there was a lot of the weight. So I put one, I put the two bags of white in to my max tray. So that's how I decided to kit up my, pro, my, this project. So they did, um, all of the alphabet letters and then they switched over to symbols for the last, um, like 11, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I apologize. So this is all my trash. I saved the thing like that that the drills come in sealed in and then I can put all the trash in there and then kind of seal it and it keeps it from making a mess. So I'm gonna clean off my area here a little bit so I have space. Um, it came with a toolkit. I have already separated it and kind of tossed it because I don't use anything that comes in here. But 
I did want to use this wax and just try it out. I've never used the blue wax. I do love the fact that it does tell you that to peel off this plastic cover because you don't know how many times I've heard people say, oh, I didn't know I had to take that off. Why won't my pen load? Well, that's why, because you have to take that off. Um, I'm going to use a pen that I got um, in a D-Stash group. This is a Bloom pen. It's got dried flowers in it. And I just thought that was really, really pretty. And I just feel like using it. And then it's got a stainless steel single placer tip from Diamond Art Club. So I'm gonna load up my pen here, maybe. Did we get that? Yep, okay, it's got the glue in there. All right, we are all waxed up. Can put that to the side. And give me one second. My dog is at the door crying. So I'm gonna go let him in. Come on, Ray. All right, so he can come in here. Ray is in here now, and uh, Atlas is coming down the hall. Here we go. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a puppy party. All right. So how is everyone doing? I know I am not typically doing a whip and chat on a Tuesday night. It is Tuesday, October twenty fourth, but it's it's been a few days of um, feelings and things. So I thought, you know, I'm doing something new and different. So let me jump on here and do it. This is just going to be a short one, just a real quick one. Um, it is a pretty thick, the edges are scalloped, which I like, of the canvas. It is a thick clear cover that's on it. Um, I might help if I turn my light pad on so I can see here what I'm doing. Oh, there we go. And then there was light. Um, so I'm going to peel that up and let's see. I don't really need a cover minder but they're so cute and I love using them. I'm going to use my hot chocolate. So we got our hot chocolate. I got that from Randa's Crafty Corner on Etsy. So um, you should really go check out her stuff. I love it. Um, she's got cover minders, putty, hard sticky wax, um, all kinds of good stuff. Um, so let's see. I want to start with, well, we'll just start with some of the white and do that. Um, so how is everybody? Yep, that is my bulldog deciding to be a jerk. Because he wants to lay next to me and Rhea is on the bed there. So, oh, he has decided he's going to go lay down on the other bed. All right, well, good. Hopefully he will stay out of the way and behave. So how is everyone? I hope everyone is doing okay. Oh, I guess I shook some of my drills on here. I'm just a mess tonight. Woo! Hot mess. Hot, hot mess. How is everyone? I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I love that you all have stuck with me and you're all hanging out with me. I hope you spread along and tell people about my channel and uh, join me in my diamond painting adventures. Um, today was one of those days that I woke up and I literally did not want to do anything. It's like I did not want to function. Um, I needed to take a shower and wash my hair and that just seemed way too difficult, way too hard. Um, this morning, the depression was really real um, and I have days like that. Um, today happened to be one of them. Um, I actually, I had my therapy session. Um, I've been doing telehealth because I don't have a copay with my insurance if I do telehealth. Um, so I was doing telehealth at 12 o'clock, but I didn't even want to have my therapy appointment today. It was just, you know, just too much, too much work. Um, yes, that is my bulldog who has decided to be a jackass, um, but his father is here, so hopefully he will deal with him. So I apologize for the barking. Um, so, so yeah, but I, I did get up, I did get dressed, I did wash my hair, um, I did have my therapy session, and 
I am finally getting to diamond paint today. Um, I wasn't able to, excuse me for just a second, guys. I'm going to shut the door to drown him out a little bit. I do apologize. And let me take this off. My phone was almost dead, so I had the cord on, but it's in my way. Um, so let's see, what was I saying? Oh, okay. So I did have my therapy session. Um, I had to go back to pain management today. I had had a pain management appointment yesterday, but I forgot to bring one of my medications with me. And I am taking two narcotics and prescribed narcotics. And I have to take my pills with me every month when I go to see the doctor because they count them to make sure that I'm not abusing them and that I am taking them as prescribed, that I don't have, you know, like I'm not supposed to have 10 left and I only have two, you know, or something like that. Um, and I grabbed one and totally forgot that they had actually added a new medication last month and I forgot that, that pill, pill bottle. So, um, they couldn't do my appointment yesterday, so they rescheduled me for today at 3 o'clock. So, I had to drive over there. It's probably about, I don't know, maybe five, six miles from my house. Um, it's not far, but I really haven't done a whole lot of driving since I had my surgeries this summer. Um, for those of you who are new or don't know, I had back-to-back surgeries in July. I had an umbilicus hernia repair on July 11th. And then on July 26th, I had a um, cervical spinal fusion um, done of my C6, 7, and 8 vertebrae in my neck. Um, and so I've been recovering from that. But I also have thoracic and lumbar spinal issues. I have degenerative disc disease. I have scoliosis and um, I have herniated discs in my lower spine. Um, I'm also having nerve problems and having nerve pain. Um, my hands and my legs go numb from time to time. Um, so, that's been a thing. Oh, I'm wondering why I'm not being able to pick up a gem, and that's because there was already a gem on it. I was thought I was running out of wax. Don't you love it when you do that? That's just fabulous. So anyway, um, so I had to do that. So I did that today, and then I was like, well, I'm out, and I needed to pick up my blood pressure medication, and I needed to get allergy meds for the dogs. Um, from CVS, so I decided to drive over to CVS afterward and go pick up all of that. Um, I got home about five minutes before my husband actually got home, um, fed the dogs, and came up here, and I decided to kit down my um, graveyard goodies that I had finished and completed. Um, my last kit that I did for drills and chills. Um, I had gotten back out. I had started Witch House as my second canvas back in September. And I put it away because I got, I was able to get Boo on D Stash by Randall Spangler and I really wanted to do that one. Well, I tried to come back to Witch House and I was gonna do it and I was gonna finish it and you know, be able to say I did six um, canvases for drills and chills plus two paint gem sets. And I just, I just wasn't feeling it. I just didn't have, have the love. Um, and I, I don't know that it was necessarily the kit. I think I was, I think I was just burnt out on Halloween. Um, I have heard other people and other creators discuss event fatigue 
And I've only done, Drills and Chills made my third event that I've ever done. Um, I did two events this summer with Bella Art Dana Cole. And I, I didn't really understand what they meant by event fatigue, but I think that's what I I've been experiencing and the last few days. And so I kind of get it. You just, you just get tired of having your canvases planned out by events. Like, yeah, you get a say in what you do, but only to a point. You know, yes, I had multiple Halloween kits. I still have multiple Halloween kits. So yes, I had a, I had a decision and it was my choice as to what Halloween kits I was doing, but I had to do Halloween kits. And I did five very large ones. Um, I think Boo, either Boo or the Jacko Howl, a ween man house, Halloween house. That one might be slightly smaller. Um, but they were all like 50 to 60 centimeters um, or bigger. So they weren't, I mean, no, they weren't ginormous by any means, but they weren't like small little snack size kits either. Um, and that was a lot, you know, I, I think that was quite a bit that I did. Plus, like I said, I did um, two, I did the Autumn Edition by Paint Gem, which was 12 canvases. I did the Black Magic Edition by Paint Gem, which was another 12 mini, ca um, mini canvases. And then I, not Drills and Chills related, but I also did six Paint Gems of the Around the World um, First Edition and two of the first edition of the mystery kits from Paint Gem. Plus I did, um, I finished, a, I had started right before Drills and Chills started, um, Nap Time by Randall Spangler, and I didn't quite finish it before Drills and Chills started. So I actually did go, I was waiting for Four Crows of the Apocalypse to come in I had finished Boo, I had ordered Four Crows, and I was waiting for it to come in, and I decided that instead of starting something else, that I was going to finish nap time in the while I waited for the Four Crows to come in, and so that's what I did. So I also, you know, completed nap time. That's a lot. That's a lot of things to um, do in two months. Um, oh, and I totally forgot. I also did a set of Halloween coasters. I did a set of Halloween coasters and I did a, um, wall hanging for the month of October. It's like a calendar one. Um, so yeah, so I did an awful lot. Um, I will be posting my month in review, um, and going back through and sharing what I did in the month of October and sharing those with you. That'll be another video. Um, I want to finish out the month of October. See how many of these little kits um, and snack sizers I can get done in the next, you know, roughly seven days, six days now, I guess, or close to or something like that. Um, so yeah. Um, I just want to throw in here, I've been you know, going to town here with these white. I am really impressed. I have not had any trash drills so far. All of these white gems have been perfect. They are uniform in size. Um, there's no divots in them. There's no like extra pieces around the bottom at all. Um, I'm really, really impressed. Uh, I also wanted to point out, if you've seen any of my other videos, you know I always put washi around. I don't have to, there's no glue does not go past the drill field. So there's no glue here. 
on the sides. So I don't have to worry about that. So I can tell you right now, and the it's very like silky material. I'm really impressed, um, especially for the price point of, you know, being, like I said, $15 regular price. But like I said, I, I got them all. I think they were running like a 30% off um, all regularly priced merchandise or something. And I got these. So I am, I'm very impressed. Um, I did see that a lot of people did the make market Halloween ones that they put out for Halloween. And I actually did go and I did buy them. I ended up, um, de-stashing them all though. I ended up not keeping them um, I wasn't like overly crazy. I wasn't like overly crazy about any of the designs um, that I was loving them. It was more of I wanted to try them out kind of thing. But then Diamond Art Club released a whole bunch of, you know, like awesome Halloween paintings. And they were things that I was very excited about and really, really wanted. So I opted to sell and de-stash um, the make market kits that I had bought. I sold them all as a bundle and at least they went to somebody that I know was going to actually do them and wanted them and, and you know, would enjoy them. So I did buy a bunch of the Christmas ones. I also got some kits from Hobby Lobby. Um, that I want to try out as well that I got that were Christmas kits. Um, just trying some different things, you know. Um, I love my Diamond Art Club kits. I mean, they are the best in the world, in my opinion. I mean, there's nothing more luxurious or high quality. But, you know, other places and other people have things that I like too. And... I refuse to spend money on buying things and I don't want to sound, I don't want to sound pretentious here when I say this. I, I've gotten myself into trouble here lately with making comments about when people are talking about, oh, I get my kits from Timu and AliExpress and, you know, Amazon. And yes, I have bought um, kits from I've never purchased anything from AliExpress or Timu. I have, you know, bought diamond art kits from Amazon, especially when I first started. Um, now the only kits I buy, like actual full drill canvases that I buy off of Amazon or are the diamond art club ones from their Amazon storefront. Um, but I do go to Amazon to buy some of the like specialty type kits, you know, like um, ornaments or keychains or stickers or, you know, things like that. Um, things that Diamond Art Club doesn't sell, um, you know, or have. And, but I can't, st it, it drives me crazy when I see people so upset because they bought a canvas off of Amazon that is small and they get it and they expect it to be crystal clear and look beautiful when they're done and it's too small for the image and you can barely make out what it is. Um, it's next to impossible to contact the supplier if you run out of a color. A lot of them don't use DMC colors for their um, their kits. So you can't even try and, you know, just use spare drills from another project. And it, it just, it really bothers me. It really bugs me and I have personal issues with it. And they are just that. They are my personal issues and it's how I feel. I do not begrudge anyone for purchasing kits off of Amazon. If that's 
If you love diamond painting and that is all that you can afford and your budget will allow you to buy, then by all means, that is what you should do. I don't want someone missing out on this incredible craft and hobby because they can't afford, you know, to pay top dollar. Not everyone can. The economy sucks. Um, things are expensive, you know. Um, people don't have money. And I get it. And I do not want anyone to ever feel like I am judging them or that I think less of them because that's where they opt to get their kits. That is a totally personal decision to make. I am just stating my personal opinion that for me, it's, it's not what I want to do. It's not where I want to get my kits. It's not... I want to support smaller companies. I want to support U.S.-based companies. Um, I personally would rather pay $70 or $80 to buy a kit from Bella Art Diamonds or from Jaded Gem Shop or Enablers Outpost or Distracted by Diamonds or Diamond Art Club then I would want to spend giving it to some Chinese company that I've never heard of that is just, you know, cranking them out and is not worried or concerned about quality. Um, you know, they're just concerned about producing at the cheapest price they can, sending it out, and they don't care whether or not the picture is going to actually look like what it's supposed to when it's done. I personally don't want to support that. That is a personal choice. I don't begrudge anyone else for doing what they need to do for their pocketbook. Don't ever want that to be the case. I myself have right now in my closet, I think three Disney images that I bought off of Amazon. I had four. Um, my oldest daughter is 30. She is autistic and she is in love with Disney. Everything Disney. She is all about the Disney. And I have done a Finding Nemo, Lilo and um, I did a stitch. That was actually the first diamond painting I ever did. Was a um, one off of Amazon. It was a round drill of stitch. For my daughter. Um, then I did a Finding Nemo one and then I have done a Frozen one for her. I had purchased a Little Mermaid one and earlier this year dug it out to do for her to be able to put away to give her for Christmas to put on her wall and I ended up throwing it in the trash because I finished Flounder and Ariel's face and even from 10 feet across the room they look like a big yellow blob and a blob with red wavy hair. They were completely undiscernible. You could not make out what it was or what you were looking at. And I was irritated. I was very upset. I had wasted that time. I had wasted that money. I had wasted that effort. Um... You know, I and I felt taken advantage of. You know, you gave me a picture and told me that this is what it was going to look like. And guess what? That is not what it looked like. So I was very upset. Um, I, I guess you could say that that's kind of where I became disgruntled with the whole buying things off of, you know, Amazon, Timu, and AliExpress. Um, so, but, you know... To each his own. To each his own. I'm sure that there are probably people out there that think it's insane how much money I have spent on diamond paintings. Um, you know, that's that's just how just how it is. So, but anyway, um. 
I hope you all had a great weekend. Uh, we didn't do a whole lot this weekend. Um, money was a little short. I uh, was waiting to get, I got paid today. Uh, my husband gets paid Thursday, so um, we were running on fumes this past weekend. Um, we watched some, we started Loki on Friday, and my husband and I watched the first three episodes of Loki, season two. It was fantastic. Um, I'm really enjoying the season. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, but Owen Wilson and Tom Hiddleston together are just, they're just amazing. Um, so very much enjoying that. Um, Saturday, we uh, watched the remake from 2010 of Nightmare on Elm Street. I had never seen it before. And then we immediately afterward watched the original from 1984 of Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, the remake was good, except I did not like the person who played Freddy. I was not scared of that Freddy. Um, it was kind of like, whatever you can do. I'm, I'm not afraid of you, dude. Um, whereas when we, it, it's, it's kind of funny because, you know, I watched the original and of course, horror film 1984, there's that whole cheese factor, you know, kind of thing. Like, okay, yeah, let's hold down Johnny Depp's arms while we go out to investigate the scary noise so that if something jumps out, he can't use his arms because we're keeping them pinned to his side you know, kind of thing. So we were laughing about that, but I'm sorry, Robert Englund as Freddie, it was like, okay, I do not want to run into him in a dark alley in the middle of the night. No, thank you. Um, so Robert Englund definitely gave the, put the horror in horror for that movie. Um, so yeah, so we did that. That was fun. Um, we watched the Commander's Giants game on Sunday. And um, it, it, I think if if you follow football and you heard Josh Allen, Jonathan Allen's um, post-game interview, if not, go look it up because he kind of summed it up. He said it all. Um I'm not going to use that kind of language um, on my channel, but uh, he dropped the F-bomb, uh, I think twice, and it was very, very warranted after the way they played. Um, but I got a nice surprise. My daughter is away at school, my youngest. she's uh, She just turned 23, and she's a graduate student at West Liberty University in West Virginia. And she came home for the weekend. Um, her father has a Halloween party every year. And Halloween is like Emily's holiday. Whereas I'm a Christmas. Christmas is my favorite holiday. Halloween is hers. So she came home for the weekend but stayed at her dad's. Um, and then she, for the party. And then she came over Sunday on her way out of town and she came over for a few hours with my grand dog and we got to hang out and we had a party for uh, my bull mastiff, Athena. She uh, turned seven on Saturday. So I baked her a doggy cake of uh, pumpkin and peanut butter dog cake. And uh, we sang and she wore a party hat and the dogs all had um, birthday cake. So it was, it was really fun. It was fun. It was adorable. I know I'm a, I'm a like, freak and a lunatic. Um, it was too short a visit. Um, whereas I was happy and glad I got to see her in some ways it was, it was even harder and worse because I only got to see her for like five hours. Um, her and I are very close. She's not just my daughter. She's my best friend. Um, she is a mini me. Her and I are very, very similar personality-wise, appearance-wise, um, the things we like and don't like. Um, we have a lot in common. And, you know, we're we're just, we're there for each other. And uh, 
her and I actually did film a video for my channel. Um, I'm not posting it till next week um, because it was it's a special Halloween edition that I did with her. But I'll be posting that on Halloween next week. So, um, so that should be good. That should be real good. So, yeah. So, other than that, not a whole lot going on. Um, don't expect there to be a whole lot going on the next few days. Um, just going to try and kick back and take it easy and have some fun working on these kits for diamond art. And, uh, yeah. So, with that, I am coming up on finishing this white background. So, I'm going to do this a little bit more with you guys. And uh, then I'm going to wrap this up. So, my channel has now grown to seven. I'm very excited about that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, my Instagram is at 97 followers, so I am closing in on 100. I'm very excited about that. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, I post there pretty much every day um, something about diamond art. Occasionally, I don't. I actually did post pictures of my dog, Athena, for her birthday because she was just too cute not to. Um, it is diamonds underscore and underscore uh, dragonflies. Um, I will put it in the description of this video. So if you want to, if you're on Instagram and you want to hop over there and, and follow me, please do. Um, please spread the word, tell your diamond painting friends all about me. Um, let me know what kind of content you would like. Do you want some how to videos? Um, you know, how to diamond paint, step-by-step -step instructions, um, how to use different waxes, how to use washi tape. Um, you know, let me know. I am all about wanting to know what you guys want and what you want to see and, you know, sharing that content with you. Um, I do read the comments, so please do leave me comments I will respond to you especially at this point since there's only seven of you um, if you are new here please um, hit that thumbs up button it helps the algorithms and helps make me show up when you guys um, google when someone googles about diamond painting or you know does a search and stuff on YouTube for it um, if you stuck around for this whole whip and chat um, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe and you can hit the bell and then it'll tell you when I've posted, you know, a new video. Um, I'd love to have you. I'd love to see my numbers grow. Um, so that would be awesome if, you know, you guys could do that. I would really, really appreciate it. Make me feel wanted because, you know, I have abandonment issues. Um, so I would really, really appreciate that. So I thought I was going to get this done while I was saying all of that stuff, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. So I'm going to have a little bit to do after I get off with you guys, but I don't want to keep you here just dragging along. So I will talk to you all later and I will be back on Friday with my frankly Friday to vent and, uh, you know, just pick a subject and let you know how I feel about it. All right. Well, everyone take care. Have a great rest of your week and I'll see you Friday. Bye.